has richly blessed Northminster Presbyterian Church in so many ways. And these blessings have been made real by leaders discerning God's will for the church and making decisions accordingly. God was at work in the decision to relocate in one of the fastest growing areas in central Illinois. The church has seen a lot of growth as a result of this one single decision. God's hand was present in the decision to step out in faith and build a sanctuary, even when it didn't seem financially possible. The decision to step out in faith and purchase the land across Knoxville Avenue ultimately provided the means to undertake our most recent building project. Yes, God has enabled us to do great things. God has blessed Northminster so much because God wants us to play a key role in the community. God wants us to accomplish great things for the sake of the gospel in North Peoria. God has touched hearts and changed lives through the ministries of this church. Uh, I came to Northminster Presbyterian Church about five years ago, and when I was looking for a new church, I was determined to find a vibrant and dynamic congregation. I wanted to find a church that had a sense of mission and was willing to try new things. I didn't want to serve a church that was kind of caught in those seven deadly words, we've always done it this way. I wanted to be a part of a church that thrived on making a difference. I wanted to be part of a congregation that enjoyed transforming lives and making a difference in people's lives. And Northminster has certainly lived up to that. There are so many ways that this congregation really makes an impact on people. There are the children's programs like VBS and Sunday School and Wednesdays at NPC. There's the Learning Center, which is a huge mission of this church and, and makes such a huge impact on so many families we don't even know about. There's the youth programs and the summer mission trips and the music camps. And there are the sports ministries where we see hundreds of people in this facility every week. Um, there is the Great Banquet, which has had a huge impact on a lot of people. I couldn't begin to tell you about all of the programs and ministries that have made impacts on people's lives, nor could I begin to tell you all about their stories. So we thought it'd be a good idea if you heard some of the stories from them. I went to the Great Banquet under duress. My wife uh, badgered me endlessly about going, and I was kept thinking to myself, you know, sleeping on air mattresses for three nights with a bunch of other guys, you know, most of which I didn't know, really wasn't that exciting to me. And I said, you know, I decided I was going to make the most of it. And I would tell you that it was three of the most powerful uh, days I've ever spent in my life. And, and it was so powerful that when I was asked to be on the team, six months later, I immediately said yes. I was excited to be a part of it. When I was there as a guest, what I experienced was amazing in and of itself. But then to come back and see God work, God's work with other people and how it impacted them, um, it was almost even more rewarding coming back as a member of the team. Maybe other than the birth of my children and uh, marrying my wife, uh, probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. And I would uh, encourage anybody who's interested in strengthening their relationship with Jesus and to have a, a, a better perspective of where they fit into his plan. Um, I, I can't recommend strong, more strongly uh, the Great Banquet and the ministry that it's done in this church and what I've seen it do with some of my friends and other people that weren't friends before I went to the Great Banquet is, I, you know, I just can't even begin to describe it. It's so powerful and I would encourage anybody to cons give prayerful consideration, but do it. You won't regret it. What mission has meant to, to me is um, the opportunity to, to do what we were called to do by, by Jesus, and that's to serve others. And mission, as I've been more, become more involved in mission, its meaning has changed to me a little bit. Uh, I used to think mission was about going and serving. On my last mission trip, I come to learn that that, that mission can also mean receiving. Um, and so there's been an evolution there in, in, in the way I view and, and think about mission. And, it's, and it's, as I said, it's gone from uh, going and just serving, just going to build something, 
to going and building something and then and then being in relationship with those people that you're working with and receiving almost as much if not more from those people that you were serving than what you were able to give to them. That's what mission means to me now. The Learning Center, the Great Banquet, and the Sports Ministry are unique in our local community and they've made a positive spiritual impact on lives in and outside of our church. And now God is calling us to meet more needs, to transform more lives. God has enabled us through the faithfulness of this congregation to expand our facilities. The sun is now setting on our latest building project, an addition that has provided us with new worship and meeting space and created new possibilities for ministry. And the time has come to focus on ministry. Maintaining our beautiful campus requires financial resources. Doing the work of the kingdom requires time and talent as well as treasure. God has called Northminster Presbyterian Church to do great things. We are located in North Peoria, which is growing very fast and very well. And the opportunity is here and the time is now. But we do have some obstacles. We do have some mountains that we need to climb. One of them is debt. We can't do all of the things that we are being called to do if we have to service debt. But if we can get rid of that obstacle, there's no telling what God can do through this church. I hope you'll be a part of this. So a generous and sacrificial response to this campaign will help us to manage our financial obligations connected with our physical plan as well as enabling us to reach out in the world around us with God's love. Now some might believe that we've taken on too much at once, but is that the case? God calls us to step out in faith, out into the unknown, and trust that He knows what He's doing. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. So now, let's grow in faith together. Tell me, should I stay?